Hi, I'm Mary Ann von Roth, and today I'll be speaking with Richard La Rovere, who is a local artist in Jersey City. Richard, just get started with, can we talk a little bit about you? Can you give us a little background on your uh, living and working in Jersey City? Sure. I was born and raised here. I'm a local artist. I was born and raised in Jersey City. Um, I was born and raised actually in this apartment. My mother and parents moved here in 1949, so I'm really an old timer. I was born in 56. However, uh, I was always an artist. When I was five years old, I was already on the floor uh, doing drawings, and my parents saw that, and eventually I was privileged enough to take some private classes when I was 15 years old in oil painting, and that's how I learned that, and I eventually got a art degree uh, a Bachelor of Fine Arts at uh, Jersey City State College, now in JCU. Oh, wow. That's So you've always been an artist, essentially, since you were a little boy. Yes. So you've said that you've lived here for your whole life. You must have seen a lot of changes. Right now, Jersey City's going through a lot of changes. Can you talk a little bit about your impression of this and how you think uh, it's going and what you would like to see as a result of this? Um, well, growing up, I've, I, I guess I could say I was privileged to see have such a diversity of friends because you were able to have people who had means living alongside people who had no means whatsoever. So I kind of knew both sides when I was growing up. Um, now that it's gentrifying, obviously the people who have less means are being priced out and the people who have more means are moving in. So this creates tension, it creates changes, even though it upgrades the neighborhood and with more investment and making things look better and nicer, on the one hand, you get people priced out. In some cases, I'm afraid I might be one of them, uh, but so far, no. Uh, what do I see positive about uh, what's going on? I would say um, uh, the fact that things are changing for the better. There's more of a sense of community. Perhaps because of the gentrification, people feel threatened by it, so they come together more. Their own self-interest, they need that. And we have RNA here, which is Riverview Neighborhood Association, that uh, is a conglomeration of Ogden Avenue, where I live, and five other blocks combined. Um, to make sure development is, isn't done, isn't going too far, uh, to make sure that the police are here, to make sure that the streets are clean and so on. Oh wow, so that's good. I didn't realize you had a, an association here that was helping you with that effort. Yes. Oh wow. So tell us a little bit, because eventually we want to take some pictures of your art, because that's very important. Mm -hmm. But tell us a little bit about the type of art you do and why you do that and what motivates you to keep doing it because i know you're prolific you've helped a lot of organizations with uh you you know contributing your art but it's a, the, a lot of the art that i've seen is very jersey city specific some of the art we'll see in here are more like landscapes could you talk more about that sure uh before i got into my uh, body of work on Jersey City history in particular, which is over a long period of time, I have dabbled obviously in other subjects, which you see around you. Um, one in particular are garden scenes, garden scenes around the world. Um, these are all different gardens that I have illustrated here that I've worked from, from photographs. Unfortunately, I've never been there, but I've interpreted photographs. I love plants, I love gardens, I love greenery, I love nature. And uh, this is, I feel that my work is testimony to that. And I love the impression. This that picture in particular I'm taking because Richard had given, told me about it. And I hope you will now mention yes. the significance of this picture. Well, this is significant because as I mentioned before about what's happening with gentrification. Um, this is a view uh, of a of country road. It's on the corner of Ogden and Franklin Street looking towards Hoboken. And back in 1979, this view does not exist anymore. Why? Because of gentrification. Um, the uh, developers played around with the zoning ordinance to build a building, quite literally blocking this view from this angle in that place at the, uh, today. So you don't have this view today, but you, have, you had this view in an earlier time. 
So it basically kind of, it shows the World Trade Center when it existed. It shows a view of Observer Highway, like as if it can, you can just walk to the Trade Center, kind of a misty view. Also, um, some of the landmarks that are here, for example, is Newman Leather Building, St. Joseph's Church. Um, over here is a recycling center. Uh, but a number of things have been uh, rehabbed. This has been demolished for something large coming up. Um, this has been um, a rehab, this, this building here, for something a little higher up also. And um, obviously the Trade Center is not there anymore. It's another building. But there is a building here which is 18 stories high. And in being that, in being that high, uh, the view from the heights of Hoboken in this area is obliterated. Hmm. Oh, that's... That's quite a, a story about the other side of all this development. An aerial view in 1960 of Journal Square, looking east, showing uh, in the foreground, uh, for example, here's the Trust Company building. This is, uh, uh, let me see, this is Sip Avenue. Okay, this is Bergen Avenue. Uh, here is the Lowe's Theater. Or actually, here's the Lowe's Theater. Um, this is Kennedy Boulevard going this way, and this is before the Path building was built. Back here is the old courthouse, before they built the new courthouse, the old jailhouse before they demolished that. Over here is Dickinson High School. Of uh, Jer Jersey City scenes, Jersey City history and Jersey City scenes, uh, going back from the early, uh, the late 1800s up until maybe 1960. So I picked these four in particular, but I have maybe about 300 of these things in all. You can see them on my website. Here's a view of the 100 steps that goes from Jersey City to Hoboken, if you wanted to walk down from Ogden Avenue and Franklin Street. This is a view of what um, the uh, Newport Mall area looked like before there was any development. It was all uh, trains taking provisions from New York to go to all points west. So it was a very comprehensive route, and it was all different, um, it was all freight trains, uh, bringing things, again, to all points west. This is a view of Webster One Avenue. One of these uh, gardens that Richard was talking about. Here's another one. Can you talk about this yeah. uh, painting, please? Yes, this is a, a copy of a paint of a painting that was done on the uh, Grand Staircase in the um, lobby of the Stanley Theater in Jersey City, New Jersey. Of the what? The lobby of the Stanley Theater in Jersey City, oh. New Jersey. It isn't there now, despite the fact that the theater is still there. Uh, the theater was renovated by Jehovah's Witnesses and they took out anything that had any uh, pagan or um, <laughs> sexual. <laughs> right. And this was actually on the staircase landing where there was a fountain in the grand staircase. So it's very interesting. Uh, Pagani was a, I did some research on him at that time. And he, he did a hundred, he lived and he died in 1956. I guess he was born in the 1870s or 80s. He did loads of murals and paintings for people. And he also did 150 children's storybooks in this day. Oh, wow. So I, this is a, 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 my copy, an authentic uh, reproduction, if you were, of what was done on that staircase, which isn't there right now. Oh, that's wonderful to have, yes. And I, this is another copy that was also in that, um, of, of another mural that he did that was also in the lobby in a different location. What you're looking at is my, my reproduction of a painting of a pendentive that was originally painted for the Brennan Courthouse, at that time the Hudson County Courthouse. It's called Courage. It was painted in an uh, architectural element called a pendentive. And uh, it does, it, the original doesn't exist, so my copy is the only um, visual proof that it did exist, um, other than uh, Kenyon Cox's preliminary sketches. Um, he, had, he has other paintings of mythological figures that represent other um, concepts uh, in other pendentives. However, this one wasn't included when it should have been. This is the corner of Newark Avenue and Jersey Avenue in downtown Jersey City, the way it looked in the 50s. All the buildings are still there, except the stores are different, and the Palace Theater, which is now demolished. Up here 
is um, the view of the Colgate plant, um, which is this is this is gone right now, and so is this. Uh, this building's still here. But the Colgate plant was one of the largest uh, soap and perfume manufacturers in the world, and we had it in Jersey City here. This is a view of a corner of Palisade Avenue and Bower Street from the 1890s. Uh, these buildings are still there, except for the one on the extreme corner that was demolished. But it just shows you how um, how much, in terms of storefronts, Palisade Avenue was commercially, because people years ago didn't have cars and there weren't shopping malls. Everybody shopped locally. And uh, very, very locally around here would be Palisade Avenue. And then moving on in the world would be going to Central Avenue, which is about six blocks, six blocks west. So um, everything was extremely local in an earlier time with um, dozens and dozens of small businesses scattered everywhere. Um, that was a commission of someone's summer home on Long Beach Island in uh, New Jersey. Oh, wow. And I hope it, uh, I did this before Hurricane Sandy. I don't know if that's still there. This is a picture of Richard's grandmother that he painted some years ago. It is the only existing image of her. This is another wonderful example of Richard's landscapes. Please contact him for more information about his art. Thank you so much for watching. This is Marianne Von Roth, a real estate agent in Jersey City. Please contact me for any information on buying, selling, renting, or investing in real estate. I would if you have interest in having me conduct an interview with you, please contact me directly or go to the Park Bench website and request an interview there. Thank you.